October team brief comes from the X-ray department at Wigan Infirmary and I'm shortly going to be meeting the departmental manager Andrew Beattie. As usual I'll be asking him three questions. Number one, how many tests a year do you do here? Number two, how long is it since you last used old-fashioned film X-ray? And thirdly, how many members of your department have worked here more than 30 years? The corporate objective for this month relates to partnership. And this is about working with other organisations in Wigan to have arrangements so that people don't have to come into hospital. We've made a lot of progress on something called risk stratification. This is where we identify people with a greater than 30% chance of coming into hospital within the next 12 months. And we've got the names and addresses of 4,776 people. Now, working with GP practices on some of these patients, we develop care plans for them, which help to keep them out of hospital. And in one pilot with patients in a nursing home, we've actually managed to reduce admissions to hospital by 58%. So the plan is to roll these projects out to the whole of Wigan as soon as we can. Our strategy is safe, effective and caring, so I'm starting as usual with our measures of safety. Now on infection control, we had another month with no cases of MRSA, but unfortunately there were six cases of C. diff, taking us to the total maximum for the year of 25. There was one MSSA and three E. coli, and our latest mortality figure, which was for July, was 94.4, taking the average for the year to 88.2. Now you can see here on the C. diff chart, the orange line, which is a real zigzag this year, because we've had some quite long periods where we've had no C. diff at all, and I've added in almost the whole of October where we've had no C. diff. The trouble is we've got to keep up that performance right to the end of the year from now on. You can see now the mortality chart, and if you look at the bottom right, all four dots this year, in other words, each of the months this year, is below 100. So that's a very, very good start to the year. And now if we tot up the total number of harms, we have to unfortunately start with another never event. That's the third never event this year, and it relates to a wrong dose of midazolam being given in A&E. Add to that 10 serious infections, two serious falls, but no pressure ulcers, no central line infections, and no ventilator-acquired pneumonia. That gives us a total for the month of 13, which isn't brilliant, but at least it's a bit better than last month's figure of 15. Moving on to effective, and it's good news, bad news. The good news is how our A&E department is doing. And you can see from the chart here that at the end of September, we'd moved up to second place in Greater Manchester and only a fraction behind Bolton. And I have every hope that by the time I show you this chart next month, we'll be in top position. The bad news is that our finances continue to struggle and at this point we're still in deficit to the tune of 0.3 million. That's partly because our income is 0.7 million below plan but also because our expenditure is 1.1 million over budget. Good news in, within this is that our CIP for the year to date is on target and our capital expenditure is a whopping 10.5 million. And all of that is just good enough to get us a financial risk rating of 3 for the second quarter of the year. On Healthier Together, the latest position is that the red-green names have been dropped, but the model is still the same. However, there's a huge amount of work still to do, and the analysis is falling a little bit behind schedule. In addition, it's not clear that there is widespread stakeholder support for the programme. So we're getting the first signs that the consultation process could be delayed. Now, we've been working on our alternative to Healthier Together, if you like, the Wigan place-based solution, and we're working with something called Integrated Care Max with our colleagues in the council, the CCG, Bridgewater and Five Boroughs and also with our colleagues in Salford and Bolton. And this is our plan B if Healthier Together does falter. And now onto caring and I want to put out a particular plea to everybody that's involved in the friends and family test because we've got a 14% return rate and we need 15%. So please, could everybody working in those areas please hand out those cards. I also want to publicise the new helpline, which is the escalation number for patients and their relatives. So far since we introduced this service, we've had 14 calls and it's been found to be very useful. So if it's your ward, could you just make sure that the helpline number is prominently displayed? Now another reminder about the staff survey. 
Um, questionnaires have been sent out to a random sample of 850 staff and just to remind you that the responses are anonymous but it's really important to us as an organisation that as many people respond as possible and your views do count and if that's not enough there is a prize draw for people who do submit their questionnaires with the prize of an iPad. Now this year sees the second reindeer run which is in aid of our successful Three Wishes charity event. It's on the 8th of December and it's only five kilometres and you can walk it if you don't want to run it. It's a really good thing to do. The proceeds go to the heart and cancer units at Wigan Infirmary. So if you want further details, contact Elizabeth Titley on this email address here and entry forms will be available on the intranet soon. It gives me enormous pleasure to say that the employee of the month for September is Dennis Murphy, one of the porters at Wigan Infirmary. And Dennis was somebody that I actually spent a day shadowing when I had my back to the floor as a porter. You can't find a nicer man or one more caring about patients and their dignity than Dennis. So congratulations to him on this accolade. So here I am with Andrew Beatty, who actually trained on this site back in 1977. But he came back 10 years ago and since January of this year, he's been the manager of the department. So Andrew, tell me, what's the main functions of the radiology department? Uh, the focus of the radiology department is, is to provide diagnostic imaging for the patients of Wrightington Wigland Lee and for those of the community. We operate across all four trust sites and operate a range of examinations from uh, breast screening to bone densitometry, nuclear medicine, ultrasound, plain film, CT, MR. I see. And what's new in radiology? We've just opened uh, a new MR scanner, um, which has a much wider bore. It's state of the art. Uh, it's designed to reduce patients' anxiety while they've been scanned. Uh, we've also just started a, a family history breast service um, and a CT virtual colonoscopy service for those patients who aren't fit enough to have a conventional colonoscopy. And what are the main problems and pressures that you face? The main pressure is access to diagnostics and the total turnaround time for the examination, which includes the report. We try to deliver a timely service that delivers the right examination at the time the patient needs it. And to be able to deliver that service is a, is a constant struggle. And what are you most proud of in your department? I'd have to say the staff. Um, we provide a service 24-7, 365 days. That service has been provided well, for longer than I can remember without a break. I'm humbled by every member of staff, the dedication um, and their commitment to the trust. That's wonderful to hear. And have you got, speaking of your staff, have you got any particular human interest stories you want to tell me? Um, I'd like to say that we're probably the most successful department in terms of the NHS triathlon. Um, our ladies came first in their category, our mixed team came third, uh, and our men came sixth overall. And now for the three quiz questions. First of all, how many tests do you do a year in your department? We do nearly a quarter of a million examinations every year. Wow. And when was the last time you used old-fashioned x-ray film? We went completely filmless six years ago, almost to the day. And I believe that there are some members of your department who have worked here more than 30 years. How many is that? We have 26 members of staff that have worked over 30 years. And they have a total of 946 years combined service between them. 